Ready. Hello, my name is Christian. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I've been cleaning my new kitchen for the past like two and a half hours, breathing in chemicals, and I finally want to take a break. And so many people sent me the Instagram story that Jesse posted, the casting director of Survivor, and they told me to apply. So I'm gonna take that as a sign to try and apply, and I want to take a break. So let's go get food. I'm thinking about getting Panda, Panda Express. Hi, so we are on our way to go get Panda, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. So, my name is Christian. I am currently 21 years old. Um, I just graduated from Utah State University with a degree in philosophy, um, with an emphasis in logic and reason. Um, I believe that, that would help me win Survivor because I can find basically any flaw in any argument if it doesn't follow the um, the patterns of logic and I think that would be a very distinct advantage because a lot of what Survivor is is lying and and trying to find ways to manipulate other people and with logic and reason it's almost comes like breathing air to me um, I think that it's a very valuable skill but also a very scary skill but in the context of Survivor I think it would be very beneficial uh, sorry. <laughs> I think it'd be very beneficial. Um, currently, I'm applying for master's programs, again, in philosophy and logic and reason, but also in human resources, because I can consistently make friends and meet people and make connections very easy. Currently, I am working two jobs. Um, I am currently working for iFit, which is a health and fitness company that um, sells fitness equipment to people and I manage all of the cash flowing in and out of the company which is really fun nothing to do with my major at all but <laughs> um, my attention to detail is so very precise and so prevalent in my life that I don't know I spot mistakes that people who've been doing their jobs for 40 years never notice and improving on it so my attention to detail would help me win survivor because it's not only about outwitting people but it's also about outlasting people and my attention to detail is like how Sarah got that advantage in the f in one of her seasons she was able to look around and see what other people didn't see and with hidden idols and hidden um, advantages and things in the game I think my observation my my keen eye to observation would help me be very very successful in Survivor um, well, we're at Panda, <laughs> so I'm going to go get food and I'll be back. Okay, so I just got back with Panda. Um, it got a little too dark for me to record outside, so I decided I'd do it in front of my nice wall. <laughs> um, I don't know how people can get their full stories in on three minutes, but um, I was born and raised in Utah. Um, a lot of people think that everyone in Utah is LDS, but I wasn't raised that way. I was raised with a love of God, but... We weren't in any sort of religion. My mom always said, um, our religion is love. And I've lived by that fact for my entire life. Um, and I'll never give that up for anything. Not for any game, not for any person. I will always just love. <laughs> um, I've been told so many times in my life, even as a little kid, that I am an old guy in a young person's body. And I really do emanate that. Em ugh, emanate that. Um, I'm also not a whiz with the recording or editing software or whatever, but so I'm I just this is gonna be like a raw cut um, So I hope that's okay <laughs> um, I've been watching Survivor since I was little I was born in 2000 when the show came out But I started watching with my parents at like six years old um, That is until my dad left our family um, My parents got divorced when I was 10 um, and although it hurts still, I have never let it really affect me. It's always just been me and my sisters and my mom. My mom is my rock. She has done so much for us. She's given up so much for us kids to um, have our own lives and have a good life. And I love my mother very much. Um, I would love to tell you more about my story um, because... 
it's not like everyone's story. And I have been told many times that I am someone that um, no one will ever meet someone like me twice. And I think that that's the most beautiful thing ever because I'm not your average Joe. I'm very unique in my own way. And um, I hope that you guys consider me for something like Survivor because I need Survivor just as much as Survivor needs someone like me. Um, my family has always struggled with money and struggled with anything. So even being considered for the show would give my family very... Uh, a lot of happiness, and that's really all that matters to me. Um, I think Survivor needs me because, again, I am someone who will never give up, who will share my story and share who I am without um, changing who I am for the game and also giving everything to, to this game. I am incredibly good at puzzles. I'm incredibly good at uh, physical challenges. Um, I would compare myself to a Ken, a David, a Sandra, um, a Tony, and a Wu. I think all those people mixed together is me. Oh, and, um, uh, what's his name? Kai? No. I can't remember. Anyway, um, it was Brains, Beauty, and Brawn, too. Um, Ty! Oh, it was Ty. How could I forget Ty? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I am very much like that. Um, so anyway, this is my video. Sorry it was a little long. Um, I'll make a little clip and I'll put it in the middle if I can um, to say the full videos in my bio, like Jesse said too. Anyway, I hope you guys consider me. I'm going to eat and relax for the day. <laughs> um, and I hope you guys have a good day too. Thanks.